the story of the South African Jewish community actually encompasses three waves of immigration. The first took place in the early to middle part of the 19th century. The second begins around the end of that century and was completely different in character, origin and impact. We never spoke about any and we accepted that when the time will come, we will go to South Africa. And that was about it. The country store, the Alchemiana Handelar, became so much a fixture of rural South Africa that its origins have been largely forgotten. But if you want to draw a line all the way to the huge Jewish corporations of today in the country, this is where they essentially began. They went to the local shop where the Jewish guy had his general dealer and they all got together quickly for a quick mincha or for a klabias. I only found out she was Jewish after she was dead and I still to this day cannot explain. Maybe because Afrikaans children didn't ask questions. We've been punished because not, there's not a single Jewish family that doesn't have children living overseas. And they left because they weren't prepared to live under apartheid, particularly after Soweto and Sharpeville. We begin to understand why so many Jews were prominent lawyers and are prominent lawyers uh, in South African society. A person that was galerant, dos hod gewen yeches. What she was saying there was that a person that was educated, that was a person that was respected in the shtetl. We were talking about English or Hebrew, but we were mingled with the Afrikaans and all the people who were talking about the Jews. This is something that the communities wherever they've gone around the world, have been concerned about their fellow man. I teach at different universities. There are no longer the kind of quantity of, of young fine arts students who are Jewish that they used to be 10, 15 years ago. You can do social good and you can do good for business. You don't, they don't necessarily um, contradict each other. You can do good business in a social way. This is the story of the South African Jewish community, a small and disparate group that somehow managed to establish itself in a hostile environment at the foot of Africa.